Welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and I am a full-time kindergarten teacher who also flips furniture on the side. And I am on a journey to pay off my student loan debt using the money that I earn while flipping furniture. We've got a good flip for you here today. I'm gonna be flipping this vanity and stool. I actually got this for free from my brother and sister-in-law, so thanks to them for this flip. And I am ready to get started, and I'm ready to show you guys how easy it can be flipping furniture. If you've been around here a while, you know that I found this piece of hardware inside of a vanity that I did at Goodwill. Well, I thought that this spray painted would be a lot more modern than this spray painted. So this is the piece of hardware that I have picked out that I am going to add on there once I'm finished. So since this is a single and this is a double, I will have to be using some wood filler for that new hardware. And the paint that I have picked out for this vanity is the Annie Sloan chalk paint in the color of original. I have also used this in another flip, but I had mixed some colors. So this time I am just going to be doing this on its own. And this right here is going to need some TLC. It's in really good shape. However, it is not in style. I am also going to be reupholstering this. It actually unscrews on the bottom and then I'll just be able to put the fabric right over and reattach the cushion right on top. So I will be picking out a fabric that matches the original from Annie Sloan that I'm going to paint the entire vanity. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the mirror so that I can begin cleaning everything. all the hardware and I'm also going to get it off of the drawer. I'm trying to get this screw out of here. Got them both out. All right, so like I said in the drawer, I'm gonna be using one piece of hardware. So I'm going to take my wood filler here, plastic wood X, grab a little bit out, fill the two holes from the front. I'm doing this before any cleaning and stuff because I want it to dry nice and neat before I do any scuff sanding. With the Annie Sloan chalk paint, you don't have to do any priming or sanding. And usually I do prime, but I'm gonna give it a shot this time at no priming, taking a risk, especially cause it's a light color, but we'll see how it goes. With the wood filler, you really wanna get it kind of bunched up. Make sure it's in there nice and solid. All right, so that will dry. So while I wait for the wood filler to dry, I am going to take the bench and detach the cushion from it. I do want to make sure that I go ahead and tighten these up. These tighten the legs. This thing is more sturdy, 
And we'll also do that on the underside of the vanity as well. And my next step is to clean. Today we are gonna be cleaning with some Dawn dish soap and some warm water. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dry everything down. So one of my viewers recommended with a mirror to take computer paper, boom, and painter's tape, boom, and shape it to the size of your mirror and put it around. And that way when you are peeling off the tape, it doesn't leave any tape marks or any paint under there. So I'm kind of liking this idea. We'll see how it works out. Before I start painting, I am going to sand down the wood filler because it is neutral colored, so that means that it is dry. We are using Annie Sloan Original. I'm gonna open my new zebra paint brush is the two inch angled brush. Remember that if you are scared when the first coat goes on and it's not looking so good. That's why there is a first coat. Um, it's always gonna look worse before it gets better, so. Second coat going on now because the first coat is dry and then after the second coat we'll see if we're going to need a third coat or if we can go ahead and distress and do the top coat. So coat number two is on there and is gonna dry for a while. And then I am gonna have to put a third coat on there. So we will be doing that next. 
All right, I am back out here and I am ready to paint the third coat on this vanity and I'm hoping that that's all we're gonna need. So let's get started, coat number three. Side note, I am a really messy painter. I don't know if anybody else is. If you are, let me know down in the comments. Third coat is on. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be solid with just three coats. I'm gonna let this dry, and then while that's drying, I'm gonna take the hardware, and I'm gonna go outside, and I'm gonna spray the hardware, and we're gonna go black this time. And also, while it's drying, I am going to get the bench over there and recover it because I did go to the store this morning. This one, I've got a little too much, so I need to kind of dump it off. Oopsies. Take it easy on spray paint. So we are gonna cover the cushion now. I went to Walmart and I got regular, just plain black. And then I also got the striped black and white. Just I couldn't decide, so. I'm gonna see which one I like best. These were only 10 bucks at Walmart for two yards, so I didn't think that that was too bad. And plus the vanity was free. $10 into it, not bad, not bad. I guess another thing I've gotta think of is if I want the stripes going horizontally or vertically. So let's first try it with going this way, horizontal across it, let's see what that looks like. Not totally my favorite. And I'll get the black one out. I am just kind of measuring to see how much I'm gonna need. Make sure it goes and fits around on each side. Okay, and then I'm gonna see what looks on this side. Yep, like the one. So I'm gonna start in the middle. started in the middle all four sides and now I'm kind of going around and doing the outside edges and then I am going to mess with the corners last. Alright and then with the corner what we're going to do is we're kind of just gonna fold it. Um, we might have to cut off some excess fabric here, but not too much because you don't want to not be able to cover it. What I like to do is kind of fold it in here 
And then that's kind of going to be your pleat corner like that. I know it's hard to see because it's black, but so I'm going to fold this one in and probably staple it there. And then I'm going to fold this one over, staple it there. And that way I have my pleat to go onto the corner. There we go. That is one. And now I'm going to do the rest. There we have it. Our bench is finished. Now I'm gonna make a new hole. So I'm just measuring to see. So it's 16, so eight right there. And I'm just gonna drill a hole for my new piece. Easy as that. Okay. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little sander and it's just like a 220 grit and I'm gonna go through and just kind of smooth out everything and then I'm gonna distress it. So this is just to smooth out the paint. Okay, distressing is done, and now I'm going to do the top coat, which today I'm gonna to be using the Annie Sloan wax because I just really like to stick with the same type of paint um, as, ooh, almost dropped it. Um, same type of paint as top coat because it's just a preference. I don't think it's technically necessary, but I just, want it to be the same across the board so let's get this wax on and let that dry before we stage it up That's a wrap for the wax and now I'm going to put the bench back on the bottom part and then stage it up.
All right, coming back out here to check on the hardware. It's dry. And then I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side as well. All right, and then we'll let that dry. All right, so I just have to clean off the top here. So I'm gonna probably grab a lint roller. That way I can get it all off and clean. Then I'm gonna put the drawer in and the mirror on and we're gonna stage for pictures. I'm making a last minute decision and since this drawer is kinda lucky in the middle, or in the inside, I'm gonna use my wallpaper and I'm gonna fill it in with that so that way it looks nice. If you ask me, that's a lot better looking than it was. <laughs> Hardware's dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop that on. I might have to get a different screw. Well, I'm gonna have to change the hardware. The screw that I had for the other piece wasn't long enough for this thick shelf or um, drawer front, so I'm gonna go spray this one, and I already measured and I have a screw long enough for that one. And the reason I can't use this screw on the other one is because that screw was very thick and I just don't have a longer, thicker screw here with me. So, gonna do different hardware. Okay, and we'll come back in a few to check and see if it's dry. In the meantime though, these are dry, which these are hold the mirror, so I'm gonna put these on. All right, the moment of truth to see if this key tip worked for taking off the papers. Uh, uh, I still got remnants of the paper, so kind of worked, but I'm still gonna have to do some scraping. Black hardware looks nice, it kind of pops, so I'm liking it. All right, the final touch, the hardware, it's dry, so we're gonna pop that on. It is all finished up, so now I'm gonna take some photos so that I can get it posted on Facebook Marketplace. That's probably good. 
And now I'm going to list it. I've had a little bit of interest over on my Instagram as I've been flipping it. Some local people have been interested. So I sent it over to her just to see if she wants it as the finished product. So once I hear back from the people who have been reaching out, we'll go from there to see if I'm gonna list it. All right, so the person who was interested ended up not wanting it anymore so i am going to measure it and then i'm going to go ahead and post it on facebook marketplace for 175 dollars and like i said i am going to keep my word and hold it on there for five days before i lower the price and the reason that you want to put the dimensions before you even post it is because people are going to ask you they're going to want to know the dimensions so before even putting it on there. I measure and I put that on the listing. That way people don't even have to ask. The information is right there. They can measure before they inquire. Well, I kept my word and I kept it on Facebook Marketplace for $175 for five days and I had no bites, like zero. I went and I lowered it to 150, and again, I had zero bites. I took that information and I was like, well, I must be posting it for too high, so then I ended up lowering it all the way to $75, and then I had an influx of people wanting it, so I went ahead and sold it to someone for $75. The free vanity in the first place, plus the $10 material that was in at $10, so the profit was $65 for this piece. And so I also learned another lesson that every flip is not a home run. I obviously got a little bit less profit than I have in my other flips, but it's not saying that it wasn't a good piece or that it wasn't a good outcome. I still got profit and I still have that money to go toward my student loan debt. The other lesson that I learned from this flip was that vanities like this just aren't very popular in my area. And actually, since I've flipped this vanity, I've seen the exact same vanity about five times on Marketplace for less and less each time. So if you found any helpful information in this video, or if you wanna keep following along my journey of paying down my student loan debt, then be sure to get subscribed down below, like this video, and let me know down in the comments, have you ever had an experience like this where you thought something might sell for a higher value than it actually ended up selling for? I'd love to know your experiences, and I'll see you on the flip side.